We interrupt this program with some breaking news. The list of presidential nominees increased by one today as Alfred E. Newman announced he is running for president. Mr. Newman, what's your reaction to the state of our country? <laughs> Looks like there might be a new man in the White House. That one's a freebie, boys. We now return to Mad, already in the voting booth. And now, a celebrity endorsement for Alfred E. Newman. This world can be a dark place, but ever since I was a kid, I knew I could always rely on Alfred. E. Newman. He's a butler, a doctor, and a pretty good detective. But most of all, Alfred... E. Newman. ...is my friend. So yes, if you ask me if there's someone out there who's got my back, I'd say it's Alfred. E. Newman. Alfred E. Newman for president. Dolphins. They're cute, playful, and they communicate. But with clicks and whistles, who knows what they're saying? They could be agreeing to take away your rights as a warm-blooded American. Are you going to let a dolphin decide how to run your life? I didn't think so. Alfred E. Newman for president. Fire may claim to keep us warm at night, but did you know it also sometimes burns things? In fact, in 2011, fire was responsible for 98% of the fires in America. Do you want fire tucking your kids into bed at night? Of course you don't. It's fire. Luckily, fire isn't running for president. Alfred E. Newman is. Alfred E. Newman for president. Are you afraid of the dark? Most people are. And yet the dark refuses to change. It still comes after the day. And it still remains pitch black. You'd think that with so many people afraid of the dark, it would be willing to change. But it's not. The dark is never going to change. Isn't it time for someone with new ideas? Vote Alfred E. Newman for president. And now a celebrity endorsement for Alfred E. Newman. Hi, I'm Nicki Minaj, and I endorse Alfred E. Newman for president because he supports the rights of space aliens pretending to be musicians, which is very important to me, for no particular reason. I have to go! My, uh, friends are driving me to a... Alfred E. Newman for president. The Mad Party has its nominee, but here are some rejected mascots. The Half Donkey Half Elephant Hybrid. Rejected for being too accurate. The Octopus. Rejected for misleading people into thinking there are eight branches of government. Whitney. Rejected because she's just so rejectable. The Bald Eagle. Rejected because people prefer hair. Yeah. And that substitute teacher who lost it in science class last week. Rejected because, well, he went missing on Thursday. And those are rejected mascots. And now, Alfred E. Newman's presidential campaign promises. Promises to lift the ban on Cuba. Gooding Jr. Yeah, I get to be on man! <laughs> Demands we have off from school on all presidents' birthdays. Well... Seems like we're heading into a 43-day weekend, so, uh, see you in a few months. Yay! We'll change our country's mascot from the bald eagle to the bald smeagle. Precious. And promises trampolines instead of sidewalks. No, wait! Slip and slides instead of sidewalks. Ah! Yeah, slip and slides. And those are Alfred E. Newman's campaign promises. Sure he's gonna win. But here are some of Alfred E. Newman's rejected presidential campaign slogans. Vote for the man from dope. Member of the GAP. The E stands for democracy. Two big ears means four great years. And what? Me worry? About the economy? These have been Alfred E. Newman's rejected campaign slogans. And now some suggestions for who should be Alfred E. Newman's running mate. Gary Oldman, so people can cheer. New man, old man. Weird Al Yankovic, so no one is really sure who the weirder Al is. Fred, so the shirt department can save on letters. Oprah Winfrey, so they can be known as Alfredo. And finally, James T. Kirk, John F. Kennedy, J.R. Ewing, David Allen Greer, and Paulie D., so that when added to Alfred E. Newman's name, their middle initials spell out farted. These have been Alfred E. Newman's possible running mates. Ready or not, here I come. Ah, uh, hide and seek. It's a game you've played for ages. But have you ever asked yourself why it needs the hide part? Why can't it be honest like freeze tag or hopscotch? Duck Duck Goose is on the level, but Hide and Seek clearly doesn't want you to know something. 
which makes us wonder, what else is it hiding? And do you really want to play a game in your yard that's based on secrets? Alfred E. Newman doesn't think so, because Alfred E. Newman has nothing to hide. Alfred E. Newman for president. This country deserves a great president. And throughout history, whenever great things happened, Alfred E. Newman was there. When Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, Alfred E. Newman was there. When Jesse Owens won the Olympic gold medal, Alfred E. Newman was there. When Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, Alfred E. Newman was there. And when Alfred E. Newman is sworn in as president, Alfred E. Newman will also be there. Alfred E. Newman for president. Alfred E. Newman presents News from the Campaign Trail. Alfred E. Newman gave speeches across the country this week, securing the baby vote, the hippopotamus vote, and the 18-wheeler vote. We're being told that last clip may have nothing to do with the campaign. And now, more of Alfred E. Newman's presidential campaign promises. Promises to replace the two-party system with the birthday party system. Yay! We'll reinstate Don't Fart, Don't Smell. Ugh, was that you? You smelt it, you dealt it. Refuses to see any students left behind. Or their right behind. In fact, no one should be showing any of their behinds. We'll rename Air Force One, Air Force Fun. And promises more sunsets and fewer sunrises. We interrupt this program with some breaking news. The votes are in, the numbers have been counted, and I think it's safe to say we all saw this coming. But at 8.22 this evening, Alfred E. Newman became President of the United States. You're as shocked as I am. But it turns out every news source in the country got it wrong. Alfred E. Newman won by a 53% margin. So congratulations, Mr. President. We interrupt this program with some breaking news. It seems I made a mistake earlier, and as a journalist, I must apologize for not checking my facts. But it appears Alfred E. Newman did not win the presidency by 53% after all. It was 54%. So congratulations yet again to the next president of the United States. Yep, he's still president. What happened? Who could have done this? Only one man can authorize a strike like that. And I voted for him.